Rise of Kingdoms has officially started helping players sell their accounts in the game, which is a big departure from their original stance of being against account sharing or selling at all. So today we're going to talk about it. What's going on guys. Cheers. Now, previously on this channel, I've talked about how I think account selling and buying typically leads to people getting scammed. It's happened hundreds of times for players in this game, so much so that there have been communities that have popped up around this that have a quote unquote reputable middlemen that will take a small fee to guarantee the safe transfer of the account from one player to another. Now I've seen enough exit scams in my life to know that I would still never trust a middleman, even if they are reputable with an account that could be worth thousands of dollars. But I digress. If you wanted to sell your account, there were ways that you could sort of get around doing it. One of the downsides though, is that when you create an account in rise of kingdoms and you want to sort of save your progress, you typically have to link your account to a Facebook account, a Gmail account, or in the case of the Chinese servers, you actually have to have a real ID, meaning in order to play the game, you actually have to link your actual government identification in order to make an account because there's a lot of different laws and rules in China around who is allowed to play games and how long they're allowed to play games. I think it's mainly centered around making sure kids don't play too many games. But anyway, that's a topic for another video. The reason that this is an issue is because customer support for rise of kingdoms has the ability to actually remove the gmail link and this is what's required if you actually want to sell the account because if you sell an account and it's still linked to your gmail well then you can always just take back the account and scam somebody and take their money and as you can imagine this has been quite the headache for customer support with people constantly asking to have their accounts unlinked customer support has to make sure that whoever's messaging them isn't somebody who's hacked the account and they need you know a good reason to want to unlink that account because it's set up there for safety purposes and for the security of your account and a lot of times customer support can just decline the unlinking they can just say yeah sorry we're not going to unlink it and then that's it you have you have no way to effectively sell that account and in the case of Chinese servers their account is linked to their actual ID so what a lot of players would do is they would sell their account and then they would use their literal government ID to prove that that's actually their account and they would get the account back and essentially scam people out of their money now I'm telling you all this because Lilith has entered the chat okay this was an official message you could see the uh, little check mark over here posted by the official rise of kingdoms Weibo account on the 5th of January. So this was about three weeks ago at the time of recording this. And if we do a little bit of translation with the help of Google, we can understand a little bit better what they're actually talking about here. It says rise of kingdoms, character trading, micro shop test announcement. Obviously the translation isn't great. I don't know if they are actually calling this the small business stack. I don't actually know what that means, but this is an announcement that they are testing a character trading micro shop. Also, anytime you see the word console, they mean governor okay so dear governors for a long time the operation team of the rise of kingdoms has not supported the third-party character transactions of the governors this is because the third-party trading market lacks supervision and incidents of governors being deceived frequently occur this is true we've talked a bit about this on our on our channel Chiskel also made a video talking about this many people have been scammed it's, it's well known however in the many communications between the operation team and the governors we found that the the demand for character trading is a long-standing demand that requires normative guidance therefore we plan to launch the first phase of the official role migration server service test those with role trading needs the governors can send the message and i don't know what this actually says under the official rise of kingdoms account to obtain the address of the micro store to participate in this test for more information about this essentially what this means is during the test they have an official i think it's a wechat uh chat room set up and if you message the official micro trading rise of kingdoms account on wechat they'll send you a url that you can go to and access the actual trading store for the time being this test is only for characters who have entered the season of conquest accounts participating in character trading need to be verified by the holder's real name character trading micro shops will charge a handling fee store micro store customer service i don't know what what that means so basically what this says is that you first have to verify that the account is actually yours with your real name and identification and then 
the actual trading shop that rise of kingdoms is setting up is going to charge you a fee to sell your account at the same time we still do not support third-party character transactions by governors and transactions that are not officially designated by the rise of kingdoms will not be officially recognized by rise of kingdoms we sincerely hope that the governors can work with us to regulate role transactions and protect the account security of the governors the first test of the character trading micro store of for rise of kingdoms is now open we apologize for any inconvenience caused during the test at the same time we also look forward to the feedback from the governors to help us improve the role trading platform thank you for your strong support for rise of kingdoms we wish you a happy game rise of kingdoms operation team so in summary this is only available for players in the season of conquest it's also only available right now for players in the chinese server you have to verify your account with your actual first and last name and i would assume a government id and rise of kingdoms is officially setting this up and is taking a small percentage of the transaction sale from the person who is selling their account now this news was first covered by another rise of kingdoms youtuber who goes by the name of ihara i'll have their link to their video down below they're a great source for a lot of information for rise of kingdoms that comes first to the chinese server so if you want go ahead and subscribe to them a lot of their videos don't have closed captions so it is a little bit difficult to understand however luckily this video actually does but essentially what we're looking at here is somebody messaging the official uh rise of kingdoms wechat account and they basically said that they want to sell their account and then they gave them a link to the actual micro store test page once you go to that link you can see that there are a couple of different people who are actually selling their accounts if you go to that link you'll see that there are multiple people who are already selling their accounts as you can see here unfortunately this is not in us dollars i believe this is chinese yuan if i'm pronouncing that properly but this is sixty thousand yuan which is apparently almost nine thousand dollars which is crazy but it'll allow players to list screenshots of all of the things that the account actually has at the time of listing so of course you're going to show off all the commanders that you have all the speed ups your vip level the gems your resources your equipment your armaments everything that you can obtain through the game you can take screenshots of those and post it and there you go now what i find interesting is you can also see down here there are sold listings as well and this is how you're going to be able to tell if you're getting a good deal or not based on how much the person is actually asking for their account you can go through and say hey i don't want to buy this account because somebody else sold theirs that's similar for much cheaper and so on and so forth so there's more screenshots here as you can see some people will show off you know all of their commanders or all of their equipment this i think was a test listing because obviously the price is insane and this is an example of i guess one of the listings it'll tell you you know the governor id the vip level and everything else about it along with more screenshots now one thing that's interesting about this micro store at least the way that it's set up right now for the testing phase is that there's no way to negotiate the price whoever sets up the sale decides what they want to sell it for and it doesn't work like an auction so for example if you go to ebay and you see something that you want to buy a lot of times depending on who's listing they can at least accept offers right so let's say something is listed for a thousand dollars you can offer them 900 and if the if the seller doesn't have anybody else who's interested maybe they'll take 900 for it and the buyer gets a little bit of a discount and everybody sort of wins here it looks like at least for the testing phase there's no way to negotiate you either buy the account or you don't so it's really going to come down to the buyer how much they're willing to sell it for and if they're being reasonable based on the sales of other similar accounts now ihara's video doesn't actually say what the transaction fee is going to be because again rise of kingdoms is going to take a percentage of that sale but they did say that the fee is typically higher than what you would normally pay a middleman to do it sort of third party so let's say a middleman would normally take two percent of the transaction rise of kingdoms might take five percent or four percent of that transaction those aren't real numbers i'm just throwing that out there but it sounds like rise of kingdoms is taking a slightly higher percentage than you may be used to if you've been doing this buying and selling in the third party market and i find this whole thing really interesting and this is the part of the video where i'm going to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on this on the one hand i think that it's good that there is an official way to buy and sell accounts and again this is only available in a testing phase in the chinese servers right so we don't know if this is going to come to other countries and we don't know if this is ever going to be international right it may be difficult 
to do international transactions like this because you have currency conversions and all that sort of thing there's different regulations rules laws for different countries about uh, you know reporting income at for taxes and all that sort of stuff right so we have no idea if this is ever going to be an international thing I think that if it's very successful in the Chinese servers that it would be in Lilith's best interest to attempt to introduce this to the international servers but we'll have to wait and see and see if that actually happens in my opinion I think it's good that Lilith is stepping in and seeing that there is a need for them to sort of be the official middleman for these transactions because in a way they sort of already were the, the customer support was already in the middle of disputes regarding unlinking accounts from gmails and things of that nature and so Lilith was already sort of dealing with some of the problems that come with account selling and my assumption is that they thought okay well if we're going to spend all this money on customer support dealing with these transactions we might as well set up a way to take a cut from the process and I think that's the part that makes this really interesting okay so again for for a positive it's good that this is an official thing right it's better to go through Lilith directly because then if something goes wrong they can reverse the transaction and it's you know it's the most trustworthy middleman that you can have I mean it's literally their game they make the final say for everything so it's the best possible middleman they can't exit scam you or ghost you or disappear with your money or anything like that because they literally made the game they're also going to be more responsive than a middleman because it's probably going to be a full customer support team so there's going to be multiple people working on these transactions and I think in general this is going to be a better experience for the players who are looking to buy and sell and from a player's perspective I think that this is pretty good as well because as you guys know rise of kingdoms is an extremely expensive game and if you decide to quit the game there's pretty much nothing that you can do with that account afterwards assuming that you don't go through a third party to sell it you spent all the money in the game and that's basically it if you quit and you're done it's over and then you you lose that 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 money that you've invested essentially and if this comes to international servers or if you're in a Chinese server and you're playing and watching this now you at least have a way to sort of recoup some of what you've spent on the game but also the inverse of that is that if you're a new player and you're really enjoying the game let's say you've been playing it for three or six months and you want to you really want to have a really powerful account uh, it may be cheaper to actually just going and buying an account with a bunch of expertise you know legendaries who all have you know a bunch of really nice equipment who've had a huge head start on you I think that would be really great for players because they'll save money you know if you know that okay I want an account that has Guan Yu and CPO I want an account that has you know Nevsky and Boudica and I want an account that has uh you know uh, Sargon the Great right uh, that's going to be you know something that you can look for in the third party market and you know maybe you can get a really good deal on that instead of spending a bunch of money waiting for wheels to come around waiting you know and buying your daily chests for your Leonidas or whatever the heck you know like there's there's you're going to be able to just instantly gain an account that has all the stuff that you want and then you can jump right into playing the game and I, and I sort of see this as like if you play a a game like World of Warcraft right a lot of the best content happens at the end game you have to first get to max level before you can do all of the mythic plus rating and all of that stuff right and I think Rise of Kingdoms sort of is similar in that a lot of the most fun uh it does happen in, in the early kvks right i think kvk one two and three they're solid but a lot of the the big massive fights with all the imperium kingdoms that all happens in this season of conquest that's where all the best commanders are even right i get a lot of comments here on youtube from people saying hey how did you get that legendary boudica and, and i know because for them the only Boudicca they know is the is the epic one right and they don't even know that there's a legendary Boudicca because you can't see this character in the game until you get to season of conquest right so there's a lot of things that are you know gate kept behind the end game season of conquest content and this is going to be a cheaper and easier way for players to just jump right in uh and pay you know still thousands of dollars but at least they might actually save some money and not have to waste time they just start playing now the downsides of this though are that uh, first of all uh it, it's just a little bit it's a little bit hypocritical of Lilith okay to say that they're against count selling and then now all of a sudden they're okay with it as long as they're taking a cut right I think that's obviously a little bit slimy okay it's a little bit uh, a little bit of capitalism is shining through right there okay they're basically saying that hey we actually have no problem with it as long as we're making money off of it right and I think that makes a lot of sense it also sort of devalues your account right because 
for me, if I've spent eight, nine, ten thousand dollars on this game for an account like this, uh, and then you know, all of a sudden I could just open up, uh, you know, this official micro store and I can buy an account that's identical to this for two or three thousand dollars. Well, then you kind of feel like a fool, you know, spending money on your own account because it's like you could have saved a lot of money going this route, right? So it kind of feels bad for people who've already spent thousands of dollars who could have gotten a really good deal by waiting for this to come around. Ultimately, though, we'll have to wait and see if this, you know, maybe this testing round will just go really badly and they'll decide that, hey, we actually don't want to do this we're not going to roll this out we're not going to do this for the chinese servers or any other servers and that'll be it they'll close up shop and they'll call it quits right that's totally possible but if you think about it it might actually be in the best interest for the game for this to actually come to the game right because if you think about it from lilith's perspective right it's always been a little bit odd to me that they don't allow uh or they typically frown upon account selling because let's say you know you sell your account for five thousand dollars the person who's buying it like yeah sure they're they're buying an account and they're getting a head start which means they're not going to be buying as many bundles to get their account to tier five right if you're a brand new player you have to get to tier five and you have to probably you know if you want to get there quickly you have to spend money if you just buy an account then lilith is not going to get any of the money that someone would normally spend on those bundles however if you know a player being at end game is a barrier to entry well someone who spends five thousand dollars on an account now they may be incentivized to buy the war machine bundles or buy bundles to participate in all the different uh you know events that actually come around like we have the hunt for history event uh right now people might actually buy an account and say hey i actually you know want to spend on this on this account now because it's a really good account and then lilith actually makes money in that way and of course they would make money on the initial sell whatever cut they take as well so i do sort of think that it makes sense for lilith to get involved in this i think that they can make a little bit of money doing this and they also can prevent a lot of scams and 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 things from happening to their player base and it also you know could help people get their foot in the door to the end game if they feel like spending a few thousand dollars on an account and also for those of you who are interested in quitting rise of kingdoms this could be a good way for you to make a little bit of money off of your account as well uh and so in general we'll have to wait and see but this actually could be good even if it is a little bit hypocritical of Lilith to condemn account selling and then decide that it's okay when they can make money off of it. I mean, think about somebody like Minamoto, right? If it costs you like $300 to just get Minamoto or like $500 to just buy an account that's like tier five, I don't know. Like it's going to be interesting if this actually becomes a thing because it's really going to make you question the price of some of the stuff in the game. And also if you want to spend, you know, $2,000 on your account, you might think okay well maybe it's just worth just buying a two thousand dollar account and having two tier five accounts that you just play instead of spending you know two grand on this one it's going to be interesting i don't know if this is actually going to come you know full to the full game uh but we'll have to wait and see i'm excited to see if this you know what this does to the game and what does this imply for the game does this imply that the game is less popular now does this imply that a lot of people are selling their accounts right now does this imply that lilith is looking for a way to make a little bit more money because they're making less money than they normally are who knows but that's all speculation guys if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it takes a second it's free and it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video. Comment down below your thoughts on this. I would love to hear from you guys. Do you think this is super hy hypocritical of them or are you thinking that this is a good thing for the players because it's going to get players, uh, you know, into more powerful accounts for less money? With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.